welcome back viewers uh, standing next to me is uh, the head teacher of Miwani Estate Primary School uh, I would like to introduce him to you uh, my name is Peter Otiende the head teacher of Miwani Estate Primary School uh, this school was started in 1959 by the Asian community Yes. Who, uh, who came in to uh, do the business of uh, a sugar milling yes. and uh, currently yes. because of the collapse of the factory yes. that took place in the year 2001 yes. the school is undergoing several challenges as you can see yes. it looks very old yes. and if you look at it you may not think that the learning is on yes. the population is quite good yes. We have over 400 children yes. and the performance of the school is quite good. Yes. They are doing it well. Yes. The only thing that is challenging people here is that the number of pupils we have, some of them are orphans yes. or if not orphans, yes. then they are quite vulnerable. Yes. They are quite vulnerable in the sense that yes. they live uh, in homes that uh, cannot support them them educationally yes so we are also more interested in knowing maybe what, what are the exact numbers of the orphan who are in this school for instance uh, uh, we have partial and total orphan and they are ranging to around uh, over nine uh, over 90 yes. they're between 90 to 140 there they keep on you see yes. that the system here because there's no permanent employment people live here in a normal style see find one here today and it's just a cane loader or a cane cutter yes. tomorrow they move to another place yes. where that particular duty is yes. uh, found so mr Ed teacher one of the things that uh, we are also doing is to try to understand some of the challenges that uh, institutions like this go through because we are putting together a, a project that is going to support the orphaned and vulnerable children the, the project is going to be sponsored by uh, the Rochefort Foundation in USA and our royal patron who is the uh, head of the project who is Her Royal Highness Princess Elizabeth. So one of the things that uh, we came here to do is to specifically talk to you uh, as uh, the teacher who is here and uh, since also you're also at the head of the administration in this school you understand some of these challenges that the people go through and even the backgrounds that they come from you can be able to uh, give uh, information regarding that. So I think uh, now that we know some of the things that uh, uh, the school is going through, and, and in terms of maybe resources that we think is like, in terms of maybe uh, the, the poor backgrounds that they come from, I think we're also going to try to do our bit uh, to ensure that institutions like this uh, are revived in terms of maybe facilities in terms of creating more access to those poor children that cannot get uh, enough resources uh, so that they are get the, the potential that they have is not lost. So, and uh, also, I, 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 I'm not sure if uh, maybe th there is uh, much that has been done in terms of maybe improving the extracurricular activities of the pupils, like uh, institutions uh, like this, do they have enough uh, 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 resources or do they have enough